hello what is up you guys so welcome to my channel today we're back with something a little bit different but it's something i really really love to talk about and something that i've always wanted to talk about but i just never had a reason to and now i do i know a lot of you guys are watching this because of that video that went viral on my twitter and you want to know more about this whole shebang so i'm just gonna like jump right into it first and foremost i just want to let you guys know I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you to go and like fucking trip out in public or anything like that. That was my personal decision. We're all grown here. Do whatever you want to do as long as you're being safe and you don't put yourself or anyone else in harm. Do you boo? I just wanted to like give you guys a little intro on what they are and shit like that. Magic shrooms date back to 9000 BC. BC in North Africa, which I think is fucking insane. Like they found paintings on like the walls and shit of like magic shrooms. They have been known to exist like for millions of years. It's been around for a while. Ain't nothing new around here. Uh, they're also used for medicinal and spiritual purposes in like Central and North America. A lot of indigenous cultures will do this for like spiritual purposes you can sip some tea and you're gonna trip with like a shaman like watching you and guiding you through it which i think that's so cool um maybe one day i will do that so basically when you take shrooms your brain becomes like hyper connected and you can like access and communicate to like different regions of your brain which is insane because we have access to like less than like five percent of our brain if i'm not mistaken like i know we don't use our brain at all like it's just a tiny bit percent that we use but when you take shrooms all these like channels like start connecting it's like literally like there's like channels in the part of our brain that we use and they could be connected to another part but for some reason we're not able to to access that region of the brain but with the help of psilocybin it just kind of like helps connect while you're tripping doesn't that explain why you would be more connected to like nature and shit like i think that's so cool because we're all made up of the same thing so ever since we found out that like shrooms can help you use your brain in that way basically access those parts of your brain We've been studying and researching shrooms and evaluating their like effects on people and stuff. So, you know, they've been like proven to help with like depression, which is like so cool because I personally think that they helped me a lot with my depression and like helped me so much. We'll get into that later, but 2018, the FDA like approved research for shrooms and how they can help with depression and that like res that doesn't respond to any other treatment. And then in 2019, they allowed, I think it's like uh, Hopkins University, that they, uh, they're they doing an evaluation on how shrooms can help with like PTSD, they can help with Lyme disease, they can help with like anxiety, depression, opiate addiction, alcohol addiction, all kinds of fucking shit that is just mind-blowing that it's been like such a taboo thing to like even think about and it helps our bodies so much it's really good that we're realizing that we have all these tools available to us that the ground literally grows for us and i could go on all day about it so if you want me to do some research and like come and spit some facts out i will let me know what have i learned through shrooms and how have they helped me one of the things that I feel like I've learned is to love myself and, and it's just to like love everything around me and and I like that sounds like so hippie and shit but like literally I've never felt more connected to like anything until that moment and like I literally became a plant lady after my first trip like I was just amazed by like nature and like how together we were and it was just so insane to me um I couldn't believe it. I feel like after my first trip, I started like being more empathetic and more compassionate and being a lot more thoughtful. I guess I would like be more self-aware, um, which it was a great thing because I was, I've always been like a very like fuck it type person, but I still am, but like I am more aware 
of myself, which is a really good thing. I feel like it's helped me a lot with my depression, with suicidal thoughts that I struggled my whole fucking life, you guys. Like, I never wanted to live more than, like, after my first trip. It was insane. Like, I love my life because of the experiences that I felt on shrooms. Like, life is so beautiful and the way that I've seen life because of them, it is just so worth living to me. Um, my first trip felt like a fucking spiritual experience. Like, it was like purging. I was crying so much and I like cried and cried and cried. And like, I saw a lot of things that I never in my life thought that I would see. I purged a lot of trauma too that I didn't know I had and it just like, gave me this will to just like live and and just live and enjoy my life and try so yeah that was one of the most life-changing experiences i could have ever had i wanted to get into like the advice part of this video before i tell you guys about my experience that time you guys were asking me for advice for your first trip and what to expect things like that so I have five tips five little tips I don't want to overwhelm y'all personally things that I like to do is always go in with a good good headspace like a great state of mind I like to be positive I like to be happy I keep a positive mind about this and make sure you're around positive vibes um so that's Tip number two, actually, and tip number two is to have a good setting and your setting being where you are, who you're with, positive vibes everywhere. Make sure you do it somewhere you're comfortable, where you feel safe, where you don't have to worry about, you know, anything. Make sure that the people you're with you can trust and they care about you and you care about them. And there's people that you can be vulnerable with because you will be very vulnerable through this and you just gotta be sure that you want to share everything with them because you never know what to expect that's another thing you guys want to know what to expect i can't tell you guys um one of the things that i learned in my first trip was um shrooms will never give you what you want and they're gonna give you what you need so i really can't tell you what to expect expect to experience life in a different way and expect to change your life and i will always say that it's in a positive way because that's the way that you have to look at things, I feel like. Alright, so tip number three is to set a purpose for your trip. And this is like the most important thing to me, personally. Well, they're all as important. But I really feel like it's very important to set a purpose for your trip. I never really tripped for fun. That was the only time I've ever done that. And I loved it. It was really fun. It was real cool. I mean, you can do it if you want. But I respect them so much more than like to treat them as a recreational thing. To me, they're like medicine, they're like spiritual things, and I don't want to just play around with them. So um, set a purpose for your trip. Say it out loud. I usually tell myself like I like I want to learn more about myself or I want to explore my feelings or I want to explore my brain, I want to explore my soul, I want to reach out. I have an idea of what I want out of this, but I was going willing to learn and willing to go through whatever I need to go through to like actually experience what I'm supposed to experience, you know? Like I really can't choose everything that you will feel during the trip, everything that you will see, everything that you will experience. Know that it's always there. Know that it's not only because you're tripping, it's always there, but just for now, you're able to experience that because your brain has so much power, basically, like you're so powerful at this point. So open your heart, open your mind and accept everything that comes your way. Um, I feel like having an open mind is very important because you always have to remind yourself that you're here for a reason like not just here here but like in the moment that you're there you know so it's really important to have an open heart too because man you will learn a lot you will learn a lot the moment you open your heart last piece of advice is to get a handle have a handle what I call a handle is just an object that I hold on to basically throughout the whole trip. And 
most of the time I do it subconsciously, but I always end up hanging on to something the whole time I'm tripping just to kind of bring me back down to the real world. It always ends up being random shit. I've had like a piece of plastic. I had a bottle cap. I had a water bottle. I've had a scrunchie like I had in that video. One time it was a napkin. Like it's always different things. What I like about the handle technique is that it always ends up being like an object that will remind me of the real world and it will like ground me. It will like make me realize, hey, you're tripping dick right now, but you live in the real world and this is going to be over and you're going to be just fine. So yeah, that's, that's, that's my biggest advice is get you a handle, sis. Last questions that you guys asked me was if I've ever had a bad trip or a bad experience and um, honestly, no. I've had really crazy trips and I've had uh, scary things happen, but like I never really want to consider them as a bad or negative experience because they taught me something in some way and I don't want to like fog up a great experience just because I had a hard time getting through it. And I really feel like that's part of having an open heart and an open mind. Like you always just got to think why did I experience this and why, why was this presented to me at this time? and like figure out really what's going on within you that can help you understand that. It's Janelle from the future. I guess I lost the footage or my camera didn't record the part where I was answering questions. How much did I take that time? And if I was like tripping dick, I was. And I only took an eighth, it's like my normal dose. I have had like really good trips off of one gram and like up to like four. Normally you take an eighth or a gram. Um, when you take like a smaller dose, it's like a way more like spiritual trip. It's pretty cool. The way that I like to eat them, I like to just like eat them so this, um pineapple, pineapple chunks, cuties or pineapple juice or people like orange juice. I hate it, but you can drink juice. Uh, it helps it break down faster. Um, but I think the fastest way for it to like break down is if you do it like in a tea. So long story short, I asked for that to be my birthday present. I wanted to go to the museum on a trip <laughs> and I did and it was really fun. And um, I also set a purpose for that trip and the purpose was to just have fun and explore and um, I had fun. My ex took me and he was sober so he took care of me and it was fun. It was, I, I felt safe. I really liked it. I loved all the exhibits. I think my favorite besides that, that was like definitely my favorite, but I really liked the European sculptures. They just look like really real and stuff. So, you know, you guys want to know what I saw and how I felt and um, I was seeing just like anemones anemones <laughs> yeah i was just seeing like this thing just waving and like as it was waving it was just like enticing me and i was just breathing it like made me slow down my breathing and it made me like so calm and peaceful and like it just made me feel so whole and so i just started breathing with it and it was just telling me like it's okay like just i don't know like i'm you feel it <laughs> Kind of like that. If I felt nervous around other people or being there, not really. There wasn't a lot of people. There was this lady that I stood next to and like her energy was so soothing and, and like we were both looking at this painting like forever. I don't even know how long I was there, but like she made me feel very comfortable. I was like right next to her and the people that worked there just mind their business. I don't think they even noticed. Um, but yeah. I think those are all the questions that I had. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm missing anything. Now we're just gonna go back to like your regular scheduled shorty that we recorded like yesterday. With that you guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video super quickly. My camera's dying and I really don't think I have a lot of time left. I wanted to put as much as I could in like the 15 minutes that I get. So if y'all like this, let me know in the comments. Y'all can like my video. Y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want. I hope y'all have a beautiful day and, you know, elevate yourself. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.